Hey, my good friend, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We've recently had the chance to test drive the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, and under its hood is the very popular and well known Pentastar V6. So, we're going to have a good look under the hood, take a tour, outlining all of its major technical features as well as do it yourself maintenance service points. The 2022 to 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Cherokee L feature a standard 3.6 liter dual overhead cam Pentastar V6, which has been a staple of Chrysler and Stellantis corporate products for some time. The latest generation of this engine, as equipped in the Grand Cherokee, has 293 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque and has made it here to an 8-speed automatic transmission. The 60-degree aluminum block V6 engine has four chain-driven cams with variable cam timing and four valves per cylinder. It has a relatively high 11.3 to 1 compression ratio afforded by its variable cam timing and cooled EGR system. Unlike most contemporary engines, it still features port injection instead of direct injectors. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top of the radiator and comes through a large plastic intake snorkel into the air filter box located at the front driver side of the engine compartment. From there, it travels through a tube and through a single board drive-by-wire throttle body and into a composite plastic intake manifold. From there, the combustion process takes place and exhaust then exit on the lower side of each V-bank and directly into the catalyst system. Much of the heads and the top of the valve covers are difficult to see in this tight packaging. On the driver's side, you can partially see the spark plug coil packs, but the passenger side is entirely covered by the intake system. Changing the plugs on this engine, it'll be a day job at minimum and require the removal of much of the top components. Because the engine compartment on the Jeep Grand Cherokee is pretty tightly packed, Routine maintenance will take some extra patience, but most of the fluids and common items are easy to reach. Windshield washer fluid is located at the top of the fender lining at the passenger side, noted by a bright yellow cap. The 12 volt battery is located at the passenger side near the shock tower. Next to it is the main engine coolant reservoir, and just to the rear of it, near the firewall, is the engine oil dipstick with its bright yellow handle, easy to see. The engine oil filler cap can be found on the driver's side of the engine at the top, and while it's buried down there in the valley, the engine oil filter is located at the top of the engine for much easier access and replacement than when it's underneath. Nice! The brake fluid reservoir can be found at the top driver's side near the base of the windshield under a plastic cover which can be easily accessed. It's just a little bit hidden. Replacing the air filter can be done at the front driver's side of the engine bay, though you will need some common tools to open it up as they weren't kind enough to just give it a couple of pop clips like most air filter boxes. Notable items to point out on our fully loaded Grand Cherokee L are the lines attached to the top of the cast aluminum shock towers at each side of the engine bay, as ours is equipped with the adjustable suspension. In addition to the cast aluminum shock towers, the Grand Cherokee uses a lot of extruded aluminum in its structure. This includes the framing at the top and bottom of the radiator support, something in the past we only used to see in higher-end vehicles. Lastly, the electric radiator cooling fan is located at the front of the engine bay. Keep your hands clear even if the engine is turned off and is warm from having been running. All right, my friends, there you have it for the underhood tour of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, in this case, the L, with the Pentastar V6. A very popular engine in this vehicle, though there are other options, or there have been. So. We have a test drive on this vehicle. You can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.